Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the Cheerios effect. So why does cereal bunch up? And so we're going to go through the experiment and science behind it. Please remember to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed the experiment. It really does help our channel. So what you need for this experiment is a bowl full of water or milk, um, a knife, some push pins, uh, that's optional, and some Cheerios, some, just some breakfast cereal. Have you ever wondered why cereal bunches together? Well, when you look closely at the cereal, it meets in the mi milk, it curves up. The same thing happens to the edge of the bowl. This is called the meniscus effect. It gives you that U shape from the Cheerio in the middle to the edge of the bowl. When I drop a couple Cheerios into the bowl, they are pushed together because the highest point is going to connect with the other one. Or it might go to the side of the bowl, whatever the highest point is closer. In this case, the closer point of the highest point was on that chair to the left was the side of the bowl. This time, the two chariots are right next to each other and the highest point is the Cheerios as it curves up and it draws the water molecules, draw them all the way there, there it goes, and they connect together. Here's a closer look at the Cheerio with the meniscus effect where you can see on the left the light curving up as the water of the milk is curving up onto the Cheerio, therefore the highest point which will draw another Cheerio towards it. So the second experiment here is with a thumbtack. And so the thumbtack is where it's actually got enough weight, it actually curves the water down. So when we put these together, and we have two thumbtacks, and we put one by each side of each other, they end up still connecting, but instead of rising up like the Cheerio, they sink down because the water is going down and they connect. So now we're going to use a Cheerio and a tack, and we put them next to each other and we try to bring them in. The curved object curving down um, is a tack into the Cheerio that's curved up, right? And when we do that, light floaty objects like the Cheerio run away, they're repelled away from the sinking objects, the curved down objects. So when we try to do push them together, the lighter object, the Cheerio, will push away and repel away just like that, which is pretty cool. So on the third experiment here is what I did is I took a regular tack and put it in so it's curving down. Then I took the tack out of the other one and just placed a piece of plastic together. So, but as you can see, they're not connecting together. They don't want to pull in and it's because without the tack inside the plastic, it's a lot lighter and therefore the water curves up onto the piece of plastic but the tack sinks down and curves down, therefore having the same kind of effect, just like there where the, the plastic was lighter and it went to the side of the bowl. Um, now we got uh, we add into the Cheerio, and you can see it repels, since it's lighter, it wants to repel off the sunken tack uh, because the, the cherry is a lot lighter. But where if you put them closer together on the plastic and the Cheerio, they eventually will come together because both the waters are curving up. If you enjoyed this uh, experiment, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And thanks for watching.